Hi friends, welcome back to All in Law. This is a quick pediatrics and today's topic of discussion is retropharyngeal abscess. I'm going to talk very briefly and very important points for USMLE and MRCPCH examination. So remember guys, retropharyngeal abscess, what is retropharyngeal space? It's a potential space between the posterior pharyngeal wall and prevertebral fascia. Okay, if this is a vertebra, this is a posterior pharyngeal wall, if this is a pharynx, pharynx and this is a posterior pharynx wall and this space, we what we call it as retropharyngeal and collection of the abscess or the purse in this area is known as a retropharyngeal abscess. So what are the causes, what are the organisms that can cause this uh, retropharyngeal abscess is one the most important remember GABHS group A beta hemolytic okay then we have anaerobes representing the oral anaerobes okay then we have staph arrows okay remember so how the patient presents the patient the sign and symptoms okay the sign and symptoms there is a sudden onset of high fever remember sudden onset of high fever and since it's present in the between the pharynx and the what you call uh, prevertebral space this what it leads it goes and compresses the pharynx and hence results in difficulty swallowing difficulty swallowing okay and because of this the patient might experience a refusal of speed feeding okay then there can be a pain that is a throat pain can be there and to reduce the pain what the patient will do is there is a hyper extension of the head hyper extension of the head okay and this can cause meningismus not meningitis it's meningismus okay guys so these are the important sign and symptoms in USMLE or MRCPCH examination try to look for these things sudden onset of high fever uh, difficulty swallowing hyper extension of the head very important throat pain okay they might ask you which of the following they definitely they will give an x-ray and you need to find out just google the x-ray of what you call retropharyngeal abscess this is a typical and in x-ray you see this space is more okay i will tell you how in uh, what you call this is a lateral x-ray in the lateral neck x-ray retropharyngeal space should be less than one half of a width of adjacent vertebra remember okay so just remember it sh should be less than one half of a width of adjacent vertebra so you can see google the images of x-ray images of what you call retropharyngeal abscess and try to look for that i cannot put these images over here because of copyright okay how would you treat this um, the treatment is either you give clindamycin, clindamycin, okay, or ampicillin and sulbactam, okay, ampicillin and sulbactam, okay, guys, right, okay, thank you so much for watching this video, take care.